Hello and welcome back to my tutorial on building a shopping cart in ASP.net C Sharp. In this tutorial we'll actually be building the final shopping cart. Uh, this class, it's mainly uh, methods with a few attributes. There's a lot more code to it than the other tutorials. So what I've decided to do is actually put all the code in the notepad and just be copying and pasting it in. This will save a lot of time and I'll just go through and explain it uh, as I'm going through it. So anyway, we start off as usual. Now I've named the project shopping cart, which wasn't a smart move. So I'm going to have to rename this class. Uh, I'll say shopping cart. There it is. Shopping cart there it is. You can name it what you like. However, it is better than not name it the same as a project like I did would have. Okay. As you start off the other one, delete the two comments and using a system dot data then using system dot data dot SQL font. Yeah. Okay. As I said, what I was going to do on Named a different file before, so I had to change that. Okay. Now, the main uh, item attribute that is in this is the list items. This is just a list of shopping items, the class we made in the previous tutorial. And then there's a attribute instance of the shopping cart. This is a static, um, otherwise called shared. Uh, class and it's got a method in here basically what this is doing is just checking if it exists and if it does it uses that one if it doesn't it builds it okay and then protects the shopping cart okay so this is uh, all really the attributes and I'll go on to the next Okay, this is an add item uh, method. It uses a parameter of the movie ID and basically new shopping item, movie ID, so it goes to the database with the shopping item using the DVD uh, constructor method. And then if it contains this already, um, sorry, if it contains it, uh, it'll just add to the quantity, otherwise it'll add this item and set the quantity to one. Uh, basically, this items dot add that is part of the list class method. He had. And that's why it's so useful just to use a list. Okay. I'll go on next to the next method, which is the set item quantity. This is uh, to reset the quantity to what you want because with the add item it only adds one every time you click it which can be annoying but this gives the option for the user when they're in the shopping cart to actually uh, just set it to 20 just type it in which is a lot better for the user. Uh, the red line here that is remove item ID the remove item with the ID passed into it that method isn't made yet, obviously, so that's why it's red. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, the next one will be the remove item, which we needed to make. Okay, as before, 
it's still clearing a shopping item if you don't get that and creating a new shopping item using the ID it's fasting and then because items is a list object it uses the remove method that's already in the class to remove the item that's pretty simple and straightforward and finally the last method is the return subtotal Return the subtotal, uh, which is a decimal. Okay, for each of the shopping items in your items list, the subtotal will add item uh, total price. So it's basically just adding it up, obviously, and it'll look down along the grid. It'll just be the total of the like set DVD, so if it's Indiana Jones, it'll be if you're buying 10 of them and they're $20, that's $200. That's what this calculates, it's not the total. Okay, I did it uh, like this so because I was doing the tutorial before and it was taking over 20 minutes, which is not uploadable to YouTube. So I'll just show you the code once over again. You add the two lines there, get rid of that. These are your two uh, real attributes. Then there's this static shared attribute of the shopping cart DVD, and making sure that there's a um, session in play of the shopping cart. If there's not, it creates one. Okay, uh, then uh, there's the add item method. Set item quantity. Remove item and get decimal, get subtotal. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping I'm giving you enough time to pause the tutorial and just copy that in because uh, it's too much for me to just type it out and. Uh, have you sit there watching? But yeah, anyway, next time I'll be showing you how to make the view cart page. Hope that you come along and listen to that. Thanks. Bye.